Having successfully figured out this coordinate problem, the ship lurches forward violently into space. This is one of those moments when you think to yourself that some kind of plan, any plan, would have been really good to have. But typically for you and how you find yourself in these situations, you didn't think too much before acting. Only the stars themselves know where you're going to end up next. After what seems like an eternity, or at least one full season of Xenon's next top galactic overlord, you arrive in a system of nine planetary bodies, though one of them is exceptionally small and looks very cold. You nostalgically remember playing Explodatoid with your friends and hunting down small little rocks like this, but then another planet registers a hive of noise and activity on your ship's scanners. There are things down there. Billions upon trillions of things, moving around, flying, swimming, sliding, falling. Of particular interest may be the insect-like creatures flying around this planet uniformly. One has the words Osmium Satellites written on it. Maybe this is a starting point to get to know what's ahead of you. You place your ship in range of the Osmiums and you begin to receive signals. Hoping that you're not detected, because really it's too late now, you figure that it may be worth finding out what these signals mean and what information might be borrowed from them. There has to be something there that can tell you where to look to learn more. Can you hear me, Captain Tim? Floating there in your tin can? Find something to do that isn't staring at this blue planet. Thank you.